Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the next track guide and setup around Monza, the Temple of Speed. As we have the Monza GP coming up in real life this weekend. If if you're watching this on the early release, so anyway, uh, as usual, quick shout out to all the channel members and subscribers. Thank you for bringing us where we are right now. I hope you have a good time racing on F1 24. I know it's a little bit sketchy sometimes, but you know, I'm here to help. Um, so hopefully these track guides are helping you out. Leave a like, subscribe. Uh, you know, maybe if you need to some question, you can leave it in the comments or join the Discord server. Now, let's get started with the track guide around here. For Monza, it's pretty much all straights, right? Um, one may ask uh, how hard it can it be, right? It's all straights, but you know, that's where you tend to make the most mistakes. Because they are long straights, the exits become a lot more important than any other track. So for example here, we are heading into the last corner, uh, Parabolica or Curva Alboreto. And uh, you need to take the corner very tight on the entry and let the car run wide on the exit. That's the nature of Parabolica. It opens up on the exit. So that's the fastest way actually, fast in and fast out. And then turn on your DRS, wait for a long, long time, take a breather, and then we finally arrive at turn one right after the 150 meter mark so somewhere around 120 maybe 110 in qualifying or 100 meter that's where you're going to be braking in a straight line heavy braking and down to third gear or second gear for the first turn and there's a little green strip here which you can use as a reference for your turning in point and it's been very helpful to be a lot more consistent in Monza Turn 1 uh, in, in the recent you know, recent titles and in, even in other games. And into Turn 1, I'd say try not to take the curb too much. Just half of it is enough. And then keep the momentum rolling. And again, on the left, uh, the left hander here, avoid that inside red sausage curb. And uh, as soon as possible, pick up the throttle and straighten out the car as soon as you can. The faster you do that, the sooner you can get to full throttle and you'll gain time on this next straight here all the way down Cover Grande and down into turn 4 here. So the end of sector 1, right after this barrier ends here, there's an orange marker and then there's also an exit road. And uh, around 100 meter, maybe 75 in the qualifying, that's where you want to be braking. Again, same thing, brake heavy and then trail brake into the left hander here. And you can take quite a bit of the curb this year, <laughs> funnily enough. So take about half, uh, half your car on the curb. That's I think the ideal point. Any more than that, then you're bottoming out the car. And then the second right hander here, try to avoid that sausage curb, but you can still take a little bit of it while keeping the car straight enough on the exit. And you can actually gain time by pushing the exit now into well let's move on almost forgot the name so after the 50 meter that's where you want to break and let the car into the apex throw the car into the corner again it's similar to parabolica let the car in early and let it run wide on the exit stay tight here as you can see but avoid touching the curb at all costs it's going to spin you out if you touch it even a little bit on the exit, you can use a lot more curb than I did here, but sometimes it bottoms out the car if your right hand is a little too low. About half is just nice here. And then bring the car back as far as to the left as possible without touching the grass. And after the 50 meter board, you just want to dab on the brakes and downshift a little bit. And again, throw the car into the apex. And you can see I'm already picking up throttle even before I'm hitting the apex because the exit is so important around here. Full curb usage on the exit. Make sure you do that and that's going to gain you easily some half a tenth maybe at least on this trade. Now into Ascari Chicane here right after the 100 meter board so maybe 100 maybe 75 depending on how you like to brake. Uh, brake in a straight line but it's a very fast corner so you don't have to brake heavy for too long. And you can see taking a lot of the curb on the first part of the Ascari chicane. The first left, take as much curb as possible, full throttle already. And then in qualifying, this is hit or miss. Uh, you have to take the curb, but avoid touching the grass on the exit uh, just in front of it. And uh, if your right hand clearance is good, you'll make it through. Same for the second left hander here. Take as much curb as possible and keep the steering straight. 
so that you carry all the momentum on the exit. And now, once again, after a minute or so, you can breathe for about 5 seconds. And now we arrive at the final corner once again. Similar to how you start your lap, you want to take this braking zone the same way. So at the 50 meter board, brake hard initially, but then trail off very quickly. Let the car into the apex very quickly. Let the car run wide on the exit. But for the end of a qualifying leg, make sure you bring your car over to the right hand side as soon as possible to minimize the track distance. That's going to help you gain a few more thousands. Sometimes, you know, you might just miss out pole or a better qualifying position just by a few thousands and that's actually going to help you. And there you go. That is a hot lap around Monza in a slow-mo and uh, oh, that's pretty much the track guide, right? And uh, now we'll head into the setup. So very quickly, if you would love to check out any other track guides, it's also in the description and maybe in the video on the top right, you can click on the playlist there. And the setup for this track for Monza, it's also in the description if you want to skip to that. So make sure you do so. But if you want an explanation, this is where we're going to go for it. Now Monza, Monza, Monza. Well, um, it's all about top speed around here. So, well, there you go. <laughs> the obvious answer, right? Uh, minimum downforce. So you can run one rear wing if you really need a little bit more stability. But other than that, that's the minimum you should run. You can run a little bit less wing if you need to. 100, 10, 100 on the transmission. Maybe a little bit more off throttle if you need some stability under the braking to avoid rear locking up. Minimum on camber and toe, but you can add a little bit of rear toe if you need a bit more grip on the exit of slow corners. Now, suspension, we have two different layouts as I've already put in the description. Uh, the first layout here is 41-1 suspension with 20-50 right height. And you can see I'm changing the suspension here to 10 and right height to 45. So one is soft and high, the other is stiff and low. Uh, both are equally good, but the softer rear suspension feels better coming out of corners. And the stiffer rear suspension is actually much better in the high speed corners. So depending on what you need in qualifying, and what you want in the race. I'll prefer this softer setup here because you're not pushing as hard in the race. Uh, so just a personal preference, you can use either one. As for the anti-roll bars, 21 maximum stiffness on the front. On the rear, you can adjust it a little bit according to your liking. Lower if you want a bit more stability in high speed and you don't want the rear to move around too much. Uh, increase it if you want the rear to be more reactive. Now we move on to brakes, 100% pressure and about 56 bias for turn one, 57 maybe, and 55 everywhere else. Tire pressures, you can use maximum as usual. However, because there are so many long straights here around Monza, the tires cool down quite quickly. And I actually feel from my testing that it's beneficial to run a little bit lower tire pressure around here, maybe just one PSI lower than maximum. And it gives you very good amount of grip everywhere. So yeah. Um, have fun experimenting with the tire pressures here, but don't go too low. And that is the setup around Monza. Uh, well, it's been a long, long night here. Uh, hopefully, uh, this goes up without any copyright issues. I'll leave you with the full speed hot lap to enjoy. And I'll see you next week for, well, some more break. And we'll go back to some irregular schedule, maybe to Japan. Take care, everyone. Stay safe and goodbye.